Alex Terry, uh, 41 years old, married, I've got two beautiful little girls. I grew up just down the road in, in the Blaaklippen Valley, um, very fortunately. Grew up on a big farm, we had uh, a lot of deciduous fruit, citrus fruit, even a little dairy, and then obviously some wine grapes. So I'd go down with my dad and they'd throw them all into a big hopper and I'd really, I think there was something about that crushing of the grapes and stuff. My dad was always very open about sharing wine with me. You know, if we wanted to taste a wine, then we would always get like a little glass of it. And you know, my dad would be like, oh, this comes from this vineyard. Or when, when people say, how did you get into wine making? I, I think that must have been like what planted the seed originally. Yeah. So we started in 2007 with five second full barrels from Trizzy. Um, and we made our first five barrels of, of Kiermont wine in the, in the water bottling plant is that Kiermont is about a place. It's about this wonderful valley and hopefully wonderful wine, which, is, which we are able to make in this beautiful place. We really push the, the estate status. We've never made wine which is not estate wine. As I said earlier, never included a berry of anybody else's grapes into our wine. So it's, a, it's about building a wonderful estate which hopefully in the years to come will have a great reputation as a wonderful place to make wine and, and build a solid little winery, not a big brand that's going to get bigger and bigger, you know, that's not our aim. So the Blauklippen River originates up at De Trafford. It comes out of the ground up at De Trafford and it flows down through here. So we refer to this section as the Upper Blauklippen Valley. It forms the division between Stellenbosch Mountain and, and uh, Helderberg. Um, and we farm literally where those two mountains come together. So, so actually my dream would be to, to have this upper block up and valley as a ward of its own or something like that. Yeah. You know, I really feel like once you start coming up from Waterford and you get to the upper reaches of this valley, you see it's, it's quite different up yeah. here. and It's got a different feel with all the mountains around it and stuff. We're not typical Helderberg. You know, yeah. you go typical Helderberg, you're talking much more uh, Rissenfriede, Ernie Els, Uwe We've definitely got a bit of a Stellenbosch mountain influence and, and an upper Blaaklippen valley. I always say to people, I hope I don't ever have to make wine from any other grapes because it's going to be really hard after this. The grapes always taste nice. They, they've always got a nice natural acidity. Reds have always got structure, color. You know, you've always got this really good balance, which is why we, we keep our wine making so traditional and, and so basic. It was always natural ferment. It was always all the barrels. It was always punch downs only. It was always gravity only. We've started to focus much more on, on the balance coming back to freshness in the wines, yeah. which I wouldn't say is achievable in, in every vintage up here. We try, but, but sometimes the wines are a bit bigger, but I always like to think that they're balanced. I love my Syrah. You know, we only started making Cab a few years ago. Syrah has always been like my red wine that I, that I love. And it's not about that. It's not about not liking Cabernet or whatever. It's, it's about the message. It's about people coming up to you and saying, so how do you feel about being a Syrah producer in, a, in the Cabernet area? It wasn't regarded as a Cabernet area. So you're now suddenly on the back foot saying, oh, well, actually, it's a really good Syrah area as well. The Swatland never really pushed a certain variety or anything like that when they did it. They've definitely got, yeah, they've got into that people really love their, their Syrahs more and their own reds and white blends and stuff like that and that works really well. And I think you must really let the market decide what you're good at, you know. You, you can have all the opinions you like but if it's not selling then it's obviously not that good. Mountainous, so we're up in a valley, we have cool mornings, warm days, uh, and that diurnal shift leads to a lot more color development, a lot more tannin development and that sort of thing. So, so often we have slightly fuller wines, uh, softer tannins, that sort of thing. And then I think herbaceousness 
is something which can be controlled with your picking times and your winemaking style and, and that sort of thing very often. Obviously there's a lot of terroir involved there, but Syrah should have a bit of herbal character, a bit of, a bit of spiciness. Often I've kind of felt like, um, you know, I've got a lot of good friends out there. I've got the same sort of mentality about winemaking, about wild yeast fermentation, about old barrels and stuff, a lot of what their message is. And I've often felt like I'm a, like a Swatland winemaker in Stellenbosch, you know. We put the grapes in a tank, we let them soak, oh, they start fermenting, you know, then they start fermenting and they turn into wine. Then we put the wine into some old barrels, it matures quite nicely and then we bottle it. Many people have commented on our wine saying that it's not, they don't feel like they're forced, they don't, you know, and I, I really like that. I think the surfing thing is probably pretty much just growing up in this area. Possibly part of your nature because you love being out in nature, you love being out in the vineyards would possibly draw you towards doing something like surfing. I think it teaches you a lot of lessons to respect nature. Like I said to you earlier, you, you can always be humbled by nature. Anybody who gets out there and does rock climbing, surfing, they all, you, you always see that look in their eye. They always got that like distant look in their eye because they know you're not in charge of everything and you've got to be comfortable with that. I love South Africa. I love people, I love the culture, I love the beaches, I love the mountains, so the wines, we have this, we, we're not told how to make wine. You do what you want, yeah, and, and as a winemaker you can create something and people are like, whoa, that's never been done before and that's awesome. We play our best when we're the underdogs, you know, and that's, that's a South African thing and I think that's really, that's really part of our nature that the rest of the world looks at and goes, yeah, South Africans are special like that.